Donald Trump's distinctive use of language during the election campaign I would bomb the out of him. has left many commonly used words and phrases forever changed. That will be proven out bigly. His popular brand of insults are now unforgettable. Amazing. The label lightweight, for instance, was handed out widely. And this lightweight, you know John Harwood, this lightweight, this guy who came out, he was shaking, he was so nervous. I watched lightweight Marco Rubio. He's standing right here. The attorney general of New York is a total lightweight. One of Trump's other favorites, a simple bad. But we have some bad hombres here and we're going to get them out. Other insults Trump tailored for specific rivals. He has failed in this campaign. Early in the campaign, he leveled a seemingly mild jibe at fellow Republican candidate Jeb Bush. He's very low energy. I'm not used to that kind of a person. So low energy that every time you watch him, you fall asleep. But the label stuck. I defined him. I gave him this, this term, low energy. I said he's a low energy individual. We do not need in this country low energy. And Bush ended up dropping out early in the primary season. Trump's nickname for his main rival, Crooked Hillary, became part of common language among his fans. Crooked Hillary uh, has been proven to be crooked once again. Some of Trump's insults, however, seemed to backfire. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. Clinton jumped to spin this one in her favor. If fighting for women's health care is playing the woman card, then deal me in. Her campaign even sending out actual woman cards to donors. And Trump's now infamous nasty woman comment. To replenish the Such Social a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund. Ended up on t-shirts worn by the likes of Katy Perry, a big Clinton supporter. But there was one word that cut across the political divide this election season. Both Trump and Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders sharing a strong New York accent and unique way of pronouncing the word huge. You know you have a huge problem with wastewater. Huge voter turnouts. A word that encapsulates both the characters and the magnitude of the 2016 election. Hala Garani, CNN, London.